Bailey, are you able to get in touch with Mom? She's supposed to be here at home to help prepare breakfast for my family, do the laundry, and chauffeur my Jonathan to school. But now she's nowhere to be found. Stella, did you forget that Mom told us yesterday she has a doctor's appointment today? She said she's been feeling unwell lately and needs a checkup. What am I supposed to do now? Who's gonna help me with all the work in my house? Well, Mom's only absent for today. I'm sure you'll be able to take care of everything on your own. After all, you're all grown up now, aren't you? I know, but I have never done any work at the house by myself. Mom always takes care of every little thing. So how am I supposed to know what to do? I'm surely gonna make a mess out of everything. It's time you stop relying on mom too much, like you're doing now, Stella. You have your own life and so does our mom. Please let her do her thing every now and then, will you? She's been taking care of me so well since our father left, and I believe that she's capable of continuing to do so. Besides, we haven't had breakfast yet, and our son Jonathan is crying and making a fuss because he's hungry. There are stinky clothes all over our bedroom, and the trash is overflowing and smells terrible. Me and my husband just had a heated argument about all of this, and I am at my breaking point. I seriously need mom's help right now. I can't take this any longer. Seriously, you're a perfectly normal human being with working arms and legs. So why don't you take care of all that by yourself? You call yourself a grown-up, but you still have to rely on mom's help? And I'm not just talking about the housework. You don't even bother to feed your own kid in the morning, get them dressed up, or chauffeur them to school. You pass the buck to our mother and expect her to take care of all that. I know, but mom has been taking care of these domestic chores for all her life. She knows how to handle them better than anyone. That's why she's the perfect person for the job. Besides, I have more important things to take care of. Currently, I'm auditioning for a major modeling show, hoping to make it big as a model one day. I'm so close to achieving my goal, and I can't let my kid or some stupid housework get in the way. Let your kid get in the way? Stella, I can't believe that you're considering your own kid some kind of a burden. And need I remind you that you've been struggling with your modeling career for almost five years. Don't you think that it's about time you stop letting your feet off the ground, get back to reality, and you know, find a more practical job? Wait. Are you seriously telling me to give up on my dream? What kind of a person are you to say something like that to her own sister? There's no way I'm gonna quit modeling. It's my one-way ticket to a better life. Plus, you already know that both me and my husband are unemployed, so we can't afford to hire a housekeeper. What are you talking about, Stella? You consider our mother no more than a housekeeper? If you are only living with her so that you can have a person who helps you with the housework, then I will take her to live with me. No, no, of course not. You're misunderstanding me. I do respect mom more than anyone in the world, and she's also happy to live with me and my family. You can ask her all about it. Besides, she totally loves doing the household chores. She always says that it helps her to stay active. Just let mom stay with our family. She'll be perfectly fine. Trust me. Fine. Then you should act accordingly to what you just said. Don't let our mom down. She's a wonderful woman, and she doesn't deserve that. Hey, Bailey, do you know what happened to Mom? She's been acting like a basket case for the past few days. She doesn't do anything right anymore. She's literally a mess. What do you mean, Stella? Why don't you ask Mom? She messed up almost every housework I assigned her to. Really? I know mom very well and she would never neglect her duties or intentionally make anyone unhappy. That's just not who she is. She washed the clothes but left them sitting in the washing machine for nearly two days. She cooked our meal and let it burn on the stove until smoke started to come out and filled the whole kitchen. She nearly killed our whole family that day. She mistook the groceries she bought with trash and threw them away in the trash can. She even served us raw food for dinner a few times. Is that so? I have never seen mom like that before. When I met her last week, she still smiled at me and acted completely normal. Honestly, I didn't notice a slight difference in her behavior. What could possibly go wrong with our mother? I'm starting to be really concerned, Stella. Stella, listen to me. If what you're saying about mom is true, 
then something is definitely wrong with her. Do you know what it is? How am I supposed to know what's wrong with her? She's my mother, not the other way around. Her behavior has been increasingly strange lately. She disappears for hours on end, and she's been vomiting all the time. One time, she even vomited during dinner. And my husband was so disgusted that he threw everything on the floor and stormed out of the house. Wait, Stella, why does our mother vomit that much? I seriously don't understand. And she didn't mention anything about her problems the last couple of times we talked to each other. Strangely enough, she looks completely fine and full of life. I noticed that she even changed her new hairstyle. Hairstyle, lol? What are you even talking about, Bailey? She barely has any hair left on her head. She has been experiencing significant hair loss in recent months. Her hair is found all over the house, including the living room, bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, and even on our food. This has made it difficult to keep our home clean and has also been a nuisance when we're eating. I mean, how much more disgusting can that old woman become? I guess her age is really taking a toll on her. Disgusting? Stella, how can you talk about our mother like that? You're insulting her! I'm really confused. The last time I saw her, her hair looked perfectly fine. It even looked thicker than I remembered. Wait a minute, was she wearing a wig? It can't be. It must be. Trust me, that old woman barely has any hair left. Her hair loss also causes me and my husband tremendous problems. That was why we ordered her to wear a hat every time she cooks for us. She's only allowed to live in the basement instead of her old bedroom. But don't blame us for that. It's only her fault that she can't even take care of herself and let her hair fall out all over the place like that. What? You forced her to live in the basement? How could you? I will not allow you to talk down to her or mistreat her the way you are doing now. Hey, you know what, Bailey? I thought I could keep her around to do my housework, but it seems like she's a complete failure now. She can't even do the simplest tasks. I take back what I said to you before. You need to take her with you to your house. I don't want to see that useless woman's face in my house any longer. Do you hear me? What? First, you insisted on keeping her around to take care of your family. But now that she's no longer able to do so, you just conveniently discard her? You should be ashamed of what you have done to our mother. She has sacrificed so much for you and your family. And this is how you repay her? So what? If she's not going to fulfill her duty in the household, then she's nothing but a parasite. I'm going to kick her out of the house once and for all. That's what she gets for not accomplishing her tasks. Kick her out? What are you even saying? You know better than anyone how much our mother loves us. And it would be devastating for her if she finds out that you're forcing her out of the house. Don't you remember when we were younger? Mom has dedicated her entire life to taking care of us, making sure that we have everything we need to succeed. She gave birth to us, so it's her responsibility to take care of us. Don't make it seem like she's a saint for fulfilling her basic obligation. Mom put her own happiness on hold so that she could focus on raising us the best way she could. It's not a responsibility. It's a brave choice. Isn't it worth appreciating? Put her happiness on hold? Please. Who told her to rush into marriage when she was barely 18 just to get divorced one year later? I seriously don't understand what was going on in her head back then. If anyone were to be blamed for her marriage breakdown and difficult life, it's no one else but herself. Why are you so harsh on our mom? Maybe she didn't think it through when she married our father, but it doesn't define her as a person. She has made mistakes, just like everyone else, but she has also learned from them and grown as a person. All I can say is that I'm more than proud of our mom. And you should be too, Stella. What has she ever done that was good enough? It's not like she served us gourmet dishes every day or showered us with luxury items. From where I'm standing, we were living like beggars. I barely had new clothes to wear, and my friends even laughed at me for using an old model phone. While we may not have experienced the materialistic fulfillment that comes with a wealthy lifestyle, Mom always did her best to provide for us. 
It's true that our mother struggled to make ends meet on a daily basis due to her lack of formal education and qualifications. Nevertheless, I know that she always tried to give us the best possible care. She would often take on two or three jobs at once, sometimes working until midnight to ensure that she had enough money to support our family. There were even times when we did not have enough to eat and our mother would give up her own meals so that we could have a full stomach. Blah, blah, blah. Do you think it's any of my concern? I've had enough of your lecture about mom's enormous sacrifice for my whole life. Seriously, you talked about it so many times that I can even finish your sentence for you. I'm warning you, Stella, that if you don't change your behavior and show more respect to our mother, I will have no choice but to take matters into my own hands. I'll teach you a valuable lesson on how to be a daughter in the true sense of the word. Honestly, you're just as lame as mom. So if possible, you might also want to get out of my life for good. Such stupid people, ugh. I can't believe that I've been patient enough to deal with ignorant people like you and mom my whole life. This isn't right, Stella. Why didn't you tell me all of this? And why is our mother hiding it from me too? I'm really worried for mom. I've been trying to call her countless times, but she didn't answer me for once. Is she home now? No, she's not home. She's been out all day, and if she even comes back, I'm not letting her in. She's a nuisance, and I can't wait to be rid of her for good. If you want to move her in with you, you better come pick up her belongings right away. Otherwise, I'm going to throw them all in the trash. And to be honest, her belongings are not that different from trash anyway. You're crazy, Stella. I can't believe I once considered you my sister. What does she have that's valuable other than some stinky old clothes? But wait. Maybe she's hiding something valuable in her pillow or under the bed. Old people always seem to have precious things stashed away like rings or necklaces. I'm going to have to search her room again, and this time I'll be more thorough. Look, I'm not going to waste my time talking with an ungrateful child like you any longer. I'll try to find mom and ask her about all of this. But don't think that our business is done just yet. I'm going to make you pay a heavy price for abusing and mistreating our mother. Hey, dumbhead. I can see that you already cleaned up our mom's belongings that I left outside my house, huh? Well done. I was so close to throwing them straight off to the dumpster. But on second thought, why should I waste my time when I already have you do it for me? Stella, I have had enough of your abuse. You had been mistreating exploiting and abusing our mother for far too long. And I'm not going to stand by and let you do it anymore. Mom never said anything about it because she loves you unconditionally, but I'm not like her. I don't have any responsibilities towards you. And I'm certainly not kind enough to put up with your dreadful acts like she did. Whoa, whoa, Bailey. What are you talking about? Have you taken the wrong medicine today, or are you hallucinating? I didn't do anything to mom. She brought everything on herself. Obviously, she's the one being gross here, not me. Do you have any idea what mom's going through right now? I can't believe that she suffers all of that by herself, just because she doesn't want to concern any of us. But you, what have you done to her? You treated her like dirt. Like she's nothing but a thorn in your side. You and your husband are no human. And you should be held accountable for your cruelty. Hold on, Bailey. What on earth are you even talking about? What is our mom suffering from? I seriously don't have a clue what you're babbling about. Goodness, you're such a nag, just like our mom. It's a good thing that I got rid of you both, or else my life would turn into a circus, literally. How could you say that? Our mom! For the past few months, our mother has been silently and resiliently fighting cancer. She hasn't told anyone about her condition. Not even us. Her own children. She does not want us to worry about her. And she's determined to fight this battle on her own. I can't imagine the pain she must be in. She has always been a strong and independent woman. 
But still, cancer is a formidable opponent. The way she hides her pain behind a smile is both heartbreaking and admirable. She's a true inspiration to us all. Our mom has cancer? How could that be possible? I can't believe it. You heard me correctly. Our mother has been refusing to answer my questions about her illness. But my persistence in finding out the truth eventually paid off. She finally confessed everything to me. Now that you know the truth, please show more respect to our mother. She has sacrificed so much for our well-being. And she has never asked for anything in return. Are you serious that our mom has that deadly disease? I just want to make sure. It's true, Stella. But please don't be too sad. We have to be strong for our mom, just like she has always been for us. We must let her know that she's not alone. That we're here by her side to protect her, support her, and comfort her in any way we can. Yes! At long last, my dream has come true. I have been waiting for this moment for so long. I can finally get rid of that old bat and take over her house, lol. I know for a fact that she'll give me the house, because you already have your own, right? After all, I am the younger sister, and I always get what I want. That's just how my life has always been. I'm calling my husband. I can't wait to share this great news with him. What? How can you laugh when you just found out that our mother has a serious illness like cancer? I never imagined that you could be capable of such cruelty, Stella. She's your own mom, not a stranger. In fact, even a stranger wouldn't treat our mom as terribly as you do. Your inhumanity seriously has no bounds. I'm really lost for words right now, Stella. Oh, don't cast me as a monster simply because I am being realistic. Of course, I will shed a few tears and attend her funeral. However, if she's dying, then why should we dwell on it too much? It's fate, and no one can change that. What we can do is focus on the present and prepare for the future. I already have a plan in mind for what I will do with Mom's house. How dare you say that? There's no humanity left in you. I cannot believe that you are thrilled at the prospect of our mother's life being on the line. I hate to say this, Stella. But if your main concern right now is only how to use Mom's house for your own good, then I am sorry to say that we are officially done. I do not want to have anything to do with you anymore. And what's wrong with my way of thinking? Look, I'm gonna sell the house and use the proceeds to pay for modeling agencies to promote my image as a professional model. I'm confident that I'll become a household name and sign lucrative commercial contracts with major brands across the country. Not only that, I'll also walk the most prestigious runways and participate in the most sought after modeling events. When I achieve fame, I am certain that you will come crawling back to me, begging for money. However, I will not give you a single penny. You are a despicable, shameless, and cold-blooded person, Stella. You should be ashamed of yourself for taking advantage of our mother's kindness this whole time. I am telling you, Stella, and this is not just a warning. It's a fact. You'll face the worst punishments there are for abusing and taking advantage of our poor mother. Just wait and see. Life is not always fair, but dreadful crimes will always backfire on the people who commit them. Bailey, why are there staff from the relocation company at my house? What are they doing here? And why do I see you and mom's belongings here? Don't tell me that you're also moving in my house. You bet we do. Mom's just simply claiming back what's rightfully hers. What's so surprising about that? What? You can't! My family has been living here for years, so it's technically our house now. You already have your own house. Why don't you just live there? Are you pretending, or are you just plain stupid? The house won't become yours no matter how long you stay there. Mom owns this house, and she demands that you leave the place as soon as possible. What? No way. There's no chance mom kicks me out of the house. I'm her dearest daughter, and she always prioritizes me over you. Besides, she's dying. 
I bet she can barely breathe, let alone make decisions like these. You're just taking advantage of Mom's sickness to fight over the ownership of her house with me. You always act like you're a saint, an innocent angel who defends the weak and fights against the bad guys. But let's be real, you're no different from me. Don't measure another's foot by one's own last, Stella. I'm not the same as you, Stella. We are very different people. And to set the record straight, our mother is not dying. She is currently in the hospital receiving treatment for cancer. She's still fighting her own battle with cancer with the utmost resilience and bravery. Oh, that old woman still lives? What a nuisance. But, as I said earlier, I'm the younger daughter and she will always place me above you. That's why I'll no doubt be inheriting her house. It's just a matter of time. You're wrong, Stella. Our mother loves us both equally, but she's more concerned for you because, despite being an adult with a family of your own, you are still unable to take care of even the most basic things in your daily life on your own. That is why she has chosen to stand by your side, hoping that her constant love and care would eventually change you from within. However, you have failed our mother time and time again. She now feels the need to let you go and face the world on your own two feet, starting with reclaiming her house. If you do not believe what I'm saying, you can go to the hospital and speak with our mother directly. What? I don't buy any of this. You're definitely lying to me. I'm not going anywhere. This is my house. I own it. You're the one who needs to get out. Suit yourself. But if you refuse to leave, I'll have to resort to stronger measures, which is to report you to the police for illegal trespassing. And I'm very glad to do so. Plus, don't think you can get away so easily with mistreating and exploiting our mother. Our mother advised me to simply reclaim the house from you. But I must admit that you are correct. Unlike our mother, I am not a saint. And I am certainly not kind enough to leave you in one piece after the heinous crime you committed against her. Then, w what are you gonna do? Don't think your simple threat can harm me. I'm not easily misled by your trick. I am in the process of convincing our mother to testify in court against you and your husband for the abuse you have inflicted upon her. The neighbors have also agreed to testify as they have witnessed your cruel behavior towards our mother on numerous occasions. They are disgusted by your actions and they are eager to help me bring you to justice. Prepare to spend the rest of your life in prison where you will have plenty of time to reflect on your crimes. You will also be subjected to the wrath of your fellow inmates who will not tolerate your abuse of your own mother. I guarantee that you will live a life that is even worse than death. <laughs> are you... are you serious, Bailey? You know, it doesn't have to be this way. We're sisters, right? We're family. How can you do this to your own sister? Please, Bailey, I'm begging you for your mercy. I don't want to be beaten up, and I certainly don't want to spend my life in jail. Can you just reconsider your decision, Bailey? I don't deserve this. I'm still young. I have a whole life ahead of me. I want to carry on with my dream as a model. I want to make it big on the runway. Now that you're begging me, I wonder if you ever felt guilty for mistreating our mother. Did you ever bother to check on her or ask how she was doing during the time you lived with her? Or did you simply see her as a tool to be exploited for your own benefit? I'm disgusted by you and your husband. And I never want to see your faces again. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Bailey. I don't want to be in jail. Look, I'll give you the house. I'll give you everything I have. Just please, don't put me in prison. Enough! Your words are now invalid to me. You had the chance to redeem yourself, but you blew it. Now, it's time for you to pay for your own sin. I'll reveal your hypocrisy to the world, and I'm gonna make this case so widely known that you'll be shunned wherever you go, even after your jail time is over. Enjoy your freedom for now, but remember, it won't last long. No! 
Please, Bailey. I don't deserve this. Please. <laughs> Stella had no other choice but to move out of my mom's house. Soon after, her husband deserted her to pursue his own happiness with another woman, leaving her with their two children. Stella was at a loss as to what to do with her children, and she also feared for being summoned to court and arrested. As a result, she fled the house without her children. With nowhere else to turn, Stella made her way to the homeless shelters where she was robbed of her belongings and beaten. She lives in constant fear that I will find her and put her in jail, so she is always on the run. In reality, I was only trying to teach her a lesson, as I know that our mother would never testify against her own daughter in court. My mother and I have also tried many times to contact Stella, but our efforts have been fruitless. I made a decision to sell my own home and move into my mother's so that we could live together as a family. As her treatment has progressed, her condition has improved significantly. And the prospect of her recovery from cancer is now very positive. The bonds between my family, mom, and Stella's children have grown stronger than ever before. And we know that love is the most powerful force that will help us overcome any challenges that we may face in the future. <laughs>